Hi guys, welcome back to Dudley Central. Uh, this video is all to do with my footbridge. Um, in my last video on the uh, April update, I had a lot of positive comments from uh, from people concerning my station and the uh, footbridge that I'd chosen to go for. So um, before I kick off, uh, here it is um, in the box. It is a Fatler kit. Uh, it was one three one three seven eight. It is HO and uh, I have had it out of the box and it doesn't come out too bad to be honest with you. Uh, as you can see it's got quite a big bit of clearance over that um, that German HO loco there. Um, so it more than sufficiently clears um, the double O locos that I have. So um, I'm really excited to crack on with it. Um, in terms of dimensions it's 221234 by 122 uh, this is more than uh, sufficient for what I need um, so so far it's looking really good so uh, as I said I have had it out of the box uh, I just wanted to size it up um, specifically because I want to add lift shafts uh, the idea is I'm going to make it look like um, like the snow hill lines um, where they have the lift shafts coming down from the side of a bridge. I'll just flash a picture up of um, a couple of those, and I'm going to build a uh, like a, a yellow brick, um, well cream brick. I don't know what you'd uh, describe it as, but it's going to be a shaft that goes up and have like a little fancy roof on the top. So um, what I've done is I've took the scale model scenery kit uh, here and um, I've cut into the fallow bridge um, so that the lift doors line up with the uh, the deck of the bridge. So I'm quite happy with that. I'll do that in a separate video about the lift shafts um, but I do highly recommend these uh, little kits from scale model scenery they look really good. Um, in terms of the uh, the height of the uh, the bridge off the platform, uh, the deck it comes a little bit low um, for my bridge. So the the plan is I'll probably have a, like a little staircase uh, coming off the top here up to the uh, station building. Uh, that shouldn't look too uh, unprototypical because uh, I think Smevik Golden Bridge has got steps down from the main concourse onto the footbridge uh, I could be wrong um, but I'm I'm happy to uh, carry on with that um, so yeah to carry this out I've got some uh, some basic bits of equipment I've got the, um, the glue and glaze from deluxe materials um, this is well worth buying to be honest with you I think it was six pounds, um, but by having this, you're not going to mess up your glazing. Um, in the past, I've stuck with the plastic glues, and it it steams up your windows and ruins them. So uh, I highly recommend going for one of these if you've got plastic glazing. Um, I've just gone for the standard kind of Revel um, plastic glue, and of course my uh, trusted craft knife. Um, and then other than that, that's it. Obviously I've got my paints. Um, I've been using this miniature blue um, miniature blue paint. And it seems to be a good match for the uh, the regional railways um, colour. Um, so yeah, so we'll crack on. And um, I hope you enjoy the video and get something from it. Thank you and bye bye. So one thing that always impresses me with these uh, these German kits are the uh, the instructions. They always come really well laid out, in my opinion. Nice and easy to read, and um, they kind of remind me of the uh, instructions you get with an IKEA uh, kind of build. Um, but yeah, it, don't be put off by it being a German brand. Uh, it's really uh, really easy to follow. Um, and essentially with this build you're adding the glazing first and then uh, adding your steps and eventually 
coming to add your roof it also appears uh, I probably won't add this but there's a kind of uh, signal uh, that you can attach if you want uh, I suppose you could also if you really wanted to uh, add some uh, coloured light signals just under there um, well, it's all up to you um, and the, the beauty with getting a plastic kit like this um, and like in my case you can customise it for what you need
So uh, I'm now going to start painting uh, the bridge now that it's assembled. Um, I've left it about 24 hours just to make sure the, uh, the glue's gone off properly and I'm pretty confident it has. So for the, uh, the cream colour I'm going to use the Woodland Scenics uh, concrete paint. Uh, I find this to be a really good quality and it's actually a good match for the, uh, the station that I'm uh, going for and I've used this on the station building. So I'll add that first and then I'll come in with the blue after. So now I've uh, finished adding the cream uh, colour to the bridge, I'm now going to start working on the uh, the blue parts of it. What I'm going to use is uh, this mid blue, it's made by Miniature Paints, uh, I think it's made by Gamecraft and I've used this for all my uh, blue on my station. I found it to be quite a good, um, a good match for the West Midlands Regional Railways blue colour which you'll find on a lot of the uh, local stations particularly on the Snow Hill line and um, to do this I'm just using a um, it's a Humbrol brush I've got it in like a pack of four there was a, um, a range of different thicknesses um, but I found this to be the most useful uh, for painting little details like this so it's always good with uh, little pots like this to give them a good shake um, particularly on the shop um, shelf they can begin to settle and uh, it means the consistency is not always the best so it's always best to give it a good shake and then um, and start slowly now you don't want it to be too thick uh, particularly for bits like this it's always best to get some on your brush and dry it off I've possibly put too much on, so I'll just get that off my fingers on there, so I don't get any paint where I don't want it to. And then just work your way along. Now it's best to 
in my opinion, even if it doesn't look that great to begin with, to just let the first coat dry because you can always come back and add more paint on. It's always more difficult to um, take the paint off and uh, add more paint on. And it's good to just take your time with it. It's also um, with this kit that we've got, is uh, you can actually the detail on it's really good actually. What you'll see is it's got little bolts on it. Now, if you put the paint on too thick, you'll miss that. So it's better better to use a couple of uh, very thin layers than uh, just plastering it on. Um, it's sometimes quite tricky to um, take your time with things like this in my so I'll work this uh, work this away um, I won't show you all of it because it's quite difficult um, to show you painting all of it uh, particularly this top side here because uh, my tripod uh, doesn't go high enough for that so I'll just show you a couple of bits as I've uh, painted this up here we go. So uh, while I let my uh, first coat of paint just dry off there, uh, I want to have a look at adding some light to this bridge. So what I've purchased off eBay are these uh, LED strips and they're self-adhesive on the back. Uh, if you just type into eBay self-adhesive LED strips you'll find them. And uh, what I'm intending on doing is simply just sticking them on there. Now my plan um, is 
to send all my wires down through there and into the other lift shaft which I'm going to have down there and with this lift shaft all the wires will be hidden and uh, they'll just run down beneath the baseboard then uh, so that's what I'm going to do For the, uh, for the central part, I'm going to use, um, where it fits on here, like that. I'm actually going to have the lights on this uh, part of the roof, so that the light shines um, away and uh, into the bridge rather than uh, out. Uh, simply, this is because, um, two reasons really, uh, with the bridge being like that, uh, it's going to be angled and um, if I angle it away it means that I won't have the issue of um, light disrupting pictures of the trains underneath and it is worth thinking about um, when you add on your lights how it will affect your photography if, um, if you're into doing that so I just thought I'd give that a quick mention so I've uh, I've really enjoyed building this kit to be honest and uh, it's really uh, spurred me on to build more kits like this. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, comments are always welcome of course and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.